Good evening, everyone. Michael Soothing here. You know what? Let me turn off the AC so you don't have that loud, annoying noise in the background. What I was going to do today was a short unboxing video. But I got sidetracked because I'm trying to catch up on the paper. Um, I'm a few days behind on reading the newspaper. You know, I'm trying to avoid it because it's the political season and all, you know. But um, anyway, I will do an unbox and see what goody came for me in the Amazon box. But first, I'm going to peruse through the paper just a little bit, okay? And see what we have in here. Rain moves out of... Okay. Yeah, it got hot again. Good deal. Um, Fresno men arrested in Placer Marijuana Growing Operation. I think this is on the ballot this time, to make it totally legal to grow lots and lots of pot. In Oregon, where I'm moving to, it just became legal to sell it recreationally, uh, I think last week or the week before. So I expect when I get up there, it will be almost impossible to find good service anywhere, okay? We'll see. Three Elk Grove restaurants robbed at gunpoint. Uh-oh. I better stay away from those restaurants. Um, three men held on suspicion of solicitation. Would that be a sting operation? Do you think it was those people there that are the ones held for solicitation? Or are they just being held for solicitation of, like, crazy stupidity, maybe? What does this article say? Three men who Placer County deputies say were trying to meet 13-year-old girl. Okay, now I'm glad it's a sting operation. Um, does it say anything about Donald Trip? Oh, shh, never mind. I didn't say that. I didn't say anything about it. And by the way, no, I'm not a Clinton supporter. All right. Endangered frog on the rebound. And don't tell me that I have to take a position one way or the other. I don't have to. And even if I did, do you think I would break up my soothing dialogue by making everyone tense? No, no, not a chance. Look at this. Endangered frog on the rebound in Yosemite. I was there not long ago. Here's the little endangered frog. That's not the frog. Here's the endangered frog. How can I get it in the field? I'm so baffled. There we are. There's the little endangered frog. Let's see what it says. Have you ever felt like an endangered frog? I have. Okay. A native California frog, once on the brink of extinction, is making an encouraging comeback in Yosemite National Park raising hopes for amphibians worldwide. There's always, always, always an irritating, loud noise here when I'm trying to do ASMR. There's five kinds of those here, but soon I'll be in my own place in Oregon, not dealing with that. Uh, it goes on to say, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's called a... Sierra Nevada yellow-legged frog. Hmm. All right. What else? Moms strong to campaign against pot. Oh yeah, we have a proposition on our ballot in California. Moms strong to campaign against pot. 
We have a, a, a Proposition 64 that will make it legal to sell marijuana recreationally, okay? So that people can get stoned without having to worry about a slap on the wrist. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, look. I just went to this store to get some night crawlers to go fishing, and I caught um, several trout, actually. Bass Pro to acquire their rival for four and a half billion dollars. Wow. Their rival is Kabila. I haven't been to Kabila, but I used to get their catalog. Four and a half billion just to buy out a store that has the same stuff as Bass Pro. Hmm. Um, Lohan, Lindsay Lohan severed part of her finger in a boating accident. Her ring finger. This is the result of me trying to anchor the boat by myself. My Poor finger, Lohan said. Okay. She has sympathy for her own finger. And I'm sure the rest of us do too. Uh, let's see. Anything else of interest? Probably not. Canada to impose a tax on carbon. If I read this, my head will explode, so I'll pass for now on that. Isn't there any U.S. and Russia relations sink further over Syria? Plutonium backtrack. Let's do the unboxing instead. Okay. Here's my box, okay? Amazon box. I think instead of pointing the camera down because I'm too lazy, I am going to, I already used my scissors to cut part of this so I could just peel the tape. I don't want to make a big racket. I think I'll just show you, because I don't really feel like changing the tripod and stuff. Because if we're going to be honest for a second, I'm going to shoot two videos in a row, okay? Even though the sun is, is glaring in here, and I don't like this lighting effect very much. I don't really look like this in real life. Oh. I got... You folks that are serious fishermen are going to laugh at me. But I did this for nostalgia purposes. Here's what came in the box. I thought it was this. A Zepco spin cast reel. Why, you ask, would you buy a reel designed for an eight-year-old child? Because that's what a lot of people think about this kind of reel. Well, I'll tell you, I need a backup um, portable rod and reel for my backpack. I normally use a spinning rod and a spinning reel for fresh water fishing. And that combination is a nice graphite impregnated rod, uh, very sensitive, you know, and then a pretty high quality spinning reel. But I wanted something to keep in my backpack, my fishing bag, for backup purposes. And also if I have a kid along or something. And also if I feel lazy and I just want to use a spin cast reel. Let's see what this thing... Alright, so I'm unboxing for you to see. I kind of like the looks of it. It's not the El Cheapo Zebco that costs like $3 at 
you know, Walmart or Kmart. This one is a higher quality uh, line, even though it's from the El Cheapo Zemco brand. Look, ultralight gear, big fun, it says. The new Micro 33, and it's loaded with four pound test line instead of that, you know, 50 pound line they usually put on these wheels. Okay. Hey, I feel a little ripped off. No instruction or anything. Do you think this might be a Chinese imitation? I don't think they'd go so far as to counterfeit a Zemco deal, do you? Well, this is interesting because... Okay, the clock is done playing a nice tune. The refrigerator is done dumping ice. The refrigerator is done making that really loud compressor turn off noise. And the AC has kicked off for a few minutes. So maybe we can have another couple minutes of quiet or not. All right, anyway, where were we? I was saying, this looks a little different. No instructions came with it. I like the look and feel of it so far. It feels much better than the El Cheapo plastic Zepcos that I'm familiar with that only cost, you know, three or four dollars. Let's see how it does. You push this button in the back, see? And that releases the line, or it's supposed to. Wow, the line is red. Never seen that before. Have you? Have you ever seen a reel where the line came spooled red? Maybe I should use this with red salmon egg hooks for trout or something. Man, that's weird. I hope the fish don't see red. So good. I'm going to have to test this now because I'm going to go fishing in the Sierras pretty soon. Close to here. Let's check the drag. What you do is you do this and that locks it, see? Now we can reel that line back up. Although I should put a little tension on it while I'm doing that. Otherwise it's going to get all tangled up. Can I do that with one hand and reel with the other? Let's see. Let's see if we can slip it through my fingers there. Oh yeah, I think so. It's nice, thin line though, which is different than most of these reels. You know, usually they have really thick, terrible line that comes with them and you have to strip it all off first and put good line on there. That's like the first order of business. Okay, it feels pretty good. The gears and everything has a nice feel. It's metal, this case not plastic. Can I tap it with something? I don't have a pen, but it's a nice metal case. It's got a nice dual handle here. So you can grab it at the top, you know, and it's got a swivelly here, see? So whatever you're comfortable with, this reel is going to work for you. Now let's check the drag. What's this button here? bite alert. It's got a bite alert button. What does that mean? I'm going to have to read about it now. Ah, the drag is set right now at a just about the right amount. So that if a big fish was on here, he'd be able to pull line off the reel. That's going to be really loud on, on your audio. He'd be able to pull line off. Um, without breaking the line. So I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit and a little bit more with this little thumb gear on the top here. Just a little bit more. That feels good. Good gearing on this. So far I'm quite happy with it. 
Now, what do they mean? This little button that says Byte Alert. See there? You know, that might be upside down for you. I think it is. Let's turn it around like this. Byte Alert. Um, I think that small children should come with a sign like that or a button like that, you know, one and a half or two-year-olds when they're angry. I haven't had any biters in my family, but I know families who did. Or maybe if you have a passionate, um, you know, spouse or girlfriend, um, they might need to come with a bite alert button, you know. Well, that might be a good idea. So, I'll suggest that uh, for future reference. Okay, so we'll reel this up. But I want to read it. There's no instructions. Maybe it's on the box. Uh, the world's most... This is so tiny. The writing, I can barely... It's also in French. Why would they have it written in French? I guess... Maybe Zemco is a French company or something. No. Tulsa, Oklahoma. It says on the bottom. I want to understand this bite alert function. Here's the history. For more than 60 years, Zemco has been teaching folks how to fish. Fishing is our passion. Okay, I don't see anything there about bite alert. Let's try the other side. Other than it says built in bite alert. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's the features. Let's read the features. If I can do it with this tiny uh, text. Tighter gear tolerances for smoother feel and durability. It does feel really good way better than any Zebco I've ever put in my hand. And I've put quite a few in my hand. Um, new drag control with micro fine adjustment. Yes, I like the drag control very, very much. And it does seem to be um, highly selectable uh, down to tight tolerances where you can get small shifts in the drag, which was not a feature of previous Zepco reels that had the star thing on the side or whatever. Um, new line management system provides better casting, improved line retrieve and control, it says. Hmm, maybe they got an engineer involved in designing this new reel. What do you think? I hope so. Ball bearing drive. Yeah, I can tell it's a high quality drive. Um, tough industrial grade stainless steel covers. Yes, I told you it was metal. Changeable right or left side retrieve. Well, I'm kind of a right handed guy, so I'll just leave it the way it is, you know. Quick set multi stop anti-reverse and a 4.3 to 1 gear ratio in case you want to take off from a standing start. Okay, I don't know how to find out what the bite alert does, but when I take it fishing, I'll figure it out and I'll come back and tell you. I will look it up online, but meanwhile, I'm quite pleased with my little Zebco. Yeah, and um, I'm going to put it to the test soon in actual real-world fishing environment, okay? Um, and report back at some point. I also have a video I'm going to shoot of a little fish booklet that talks about North America freshwater fish with illustrations. So we'll do that soon, too. All right, everybody. Till next time, you know what I better do? I better shoot a thumbnail of this, don't you think? Um, the little Zebco. Uh, uh.